Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. This was the same makeup that I was wearing in my Sephora haul. A ton of you guys did want to see a tutorial, so ask and you shall receive. As I mentioned in my Sephora haul, I did use the Monarch palette to create this look. Quickly falling in love just with all of her eyeshadows. They are really creamy, really blendable, they're really pigmented, and just a very nice quality eyeshadow. So if you guys would like to see how I got this look, then please just keep on watching. For a primer, I'm going to be using a concealer again. I've really been liking concealers lately as an eyeshadow primer, uh, mostly because my eyes are so red and this really covers the redness up really nicely without looking cakey. It's just a very creamy finish, so I've really been liking this lately. Next, we're going to go into the Kat Von D Monarch palette. I'm going to pick up this taupe shade on my BH blending brush. Now, I didn't want to use any colors that weren't in the palette, but feel free to use a warmer brown shade. I think that would look really nice with this look. Obviously, this color works as well, and I'm just working it into the crease. I'm going to take this gorgeous chocolate pearly shade, and I'm going to put this all over my entire lid, and I'm using a Sigma E55 shading brush. Then for my favorite color in the palette, it's this gorgeous copper color. I'm going to place this into my crease with a Sigma E25 blending brush. And we're really going to work this in. And I'm going to go back and forth a few times, blending it out, adding more color. We just want it to look nice and bright, but also diffused at the same time. Obviously, we don't want any harsh lines. But I want it, the chocolate to fade into this really pretty burnt orange color. And I'm just using the uh, matte, it's I think a pretty matte yellow shade, and I'm blending out any harsh lines. And as I said, I'm gonna go back in and add a little bit more of the orange. Now, if you don't want the orange to be as intense, you can kinda just use it as a like smoky transition color, but I did want the orange to be really intense just because the color is absolutely stunning. Then on a pencil brush, this one is by Zoeva, I'm taking the matte chocolate brown shade and I'm just going to place this really precisely in the outer V. This is just going to add a little bit more depth to the look. This step is optional, you don't necessarily need this. I just wanted a little bit more smokiness in the outer corner and just to draw the eye outwards, especially for me because I have deep set eyes, which I am going to do a video on that, um, like little tips and tricks for deep set eyes, but I want to draw the, uh, the eye out further because we're doing such a dark shadow on the lid, I just want it to kind of elongate my eye a little bit. And then I'm gonna go over that and blend it out with the same brush we used for the orange. Okay, I'm a little behind. I'm taking my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation on this Diva Beauty Flat Top Foundation brush. I've been testing out these brushes and I really, really like them so far. If you guys wanna see a review on them, let me know and I will uh, try to get one of those up soon for you but I'm just blending this all over my entire face. And then I'm gonna go back in with my NYX HD concealer and use this on my under eyes. So once I'm done blending out my concealer, I'm gonna go in with a light layer of powder. I'm just taking this one by M Cosmetics on a Sonia Kashuk powder brush. And then for the sake of saving some time, I'm going to do my brows and my mascara off camera. I'm using all my usual products. If you guys want to see a brow routine, I will have that linked down below. And now it is time to warm up the skin a little bit. So I'm taking this Pressed Mineral Bronzer by e.l.f. I'll have the exact name of it down below. And as always, I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush to apply this. And for this look, I didn't want to use any blush. I really wanted the focus of the skin to be golden and bronzy. So I'm going to go in with my Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter. And I'm going to apply this to my cheekbones using a Tarte blush brush. 
And normally I would have already done my lower lash line because I hate doing it after I already have mascara on, but I forgot. So I'm just taking the matte brown shade in the palette on the same pencil brush and blending this in. And then for the lips, you guys love this lip color and so do I. And the best part is, is that it's only $1.99. Yes, you heard me right. It is from Wet n Wild and it's called Coming In Latte. So after that, that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for requesting this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed already, please do. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So I will see you guys in my next video.